People say the COVID swab test can damage your throat and has particles that are floating around and are magnetic. Let's see if this is true under the microscope. Hello and welcome to Small Trends Big. Today we're looking at the COVID swab tests. But first, let's have a look at the video in question that is making or stating these facts. So this video is comparing a cotton swab versus a COVID test swab, yeah. Show you what's happening here so that you can, I'm just pulling this apart. See the Q-tip, there's Q -tip. really, um, there's nothing going on with the Q-tip. It's just, the it's Q -tip not moving. Cotton. And it's not moving at all, but if you, it, it, now we're, we're putting, Okay, so on the right side here, this is the normal cotton swab and the Q-tip here of um, the COVID test is much more fine uh, in, in structure and they argue now that this, these fibers are moving around. Putting them side by side and this, this uh, first of all, there's a lot of different, I, I can see the movement, I can literally see these things moving. There's, there's movement going on. <laughs> yeah, there was here a small fiber up here a second ago, and you saw how uh, how it's moving around. And that these fibers are so small, just a little breeze through the air or the ventilation has a huge effect on the small light particles like this. They start to vibrate and move around. Let's have a look under the microscope how it really looks like. So we've got two different brands of the swab here. They're also very different. The one is a bit more flexible here in the front. The other one is very stiff has a much more stiff uh, rod. So this one's quite interesting. So let's open this one first and see how the swab looks like up close. There we go. Okay, so let's put this one here. Okay, so I guess everyone will also be wondering what brand this is. Flow Q Swab. So let's uh, see what it is. You can see here the fibers again much more clearly. Oh, let's move it on the middle here. Yeah, it's super dense. Let me take my tool here so we can uh, show you how soft this is, maybe. So I can hover over here. Yeah, you can see now my tip here. It's moving over the surface. And it's, yeah, it's not very, it doesn't have a lot of resistance. Just moving over and super soft, looks okay. And also nothing detaching. So that's uh, also good news. So let's measure the the tips of uh, these fibers or the thickness of these fibers. So if we click here and we move over here, super small is 0.02 millimeters, so 20 micron, a bit smaller than uh, human hair. Human hair is roughly about 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, depends. If this got you interested in learning STEM topics to make improvements in your life, then I recommend you check out Brilliant to improve your problem solving and critical thinking skills. Their lessons are interactive so that you are applying what you've learned and understanding the why of it, instead of just memorizing formulas to get by. To supercharge your learning, go to brilliant.org slash smallturnsbig and the first 200 signups get 20% off the annual premium subscription. So let's compare this one now to the next product here. So we've got another brand here, MiraClean Technology. Okay, this one definitely looks more like a sponge. You see all these bubble textures. This looks like a, one of my videos I made before from a, of household items. And there we looked at a cleaning sponge and it looks exactly the same, but it's not so soft. The bubbles texture was nice and finished off smooth. But here you can see if we zoom in here, how edgy it looks like, crazy. It's super thick and looks really sturdy here. And uh, you can see also the edges are cut off quite sharply. And here, even, yeah, you see there's material in here. This is the whole tip, this whole thing. So this one in the production isn't so clean, let's say. Let's have a measure here on this, these two here. Let's see how thick this is compared to the one before. So if you measure here, up to here, 0 0.04 and the other one is 0 0.1. So uh, yeah, the normal fiber thickness is double as thick, so much more sturdy and stiff. And yeah, if you're unlucky and have like a lot of these huge tips on, up front, then uh, yeah, it's 0 0.1, so a tenth of a millimeter. One thing is left to be done is to see how it reacts when I use my tool to wipe over it. Move over here, up and down. This sponge is super soft. You can see how it goes in and out. Here, if I, if I poke it, it goes really super, it's super soft, it goes in. But 
doesn't seem like it detaches. I think it's safe to use. This one that's more sponge looking is for sure a bit more sturdy and has a lot of excess material that could possibly also fall off when, when you're getting it in your nose. Now I put the two of them together so you can see side by side simultaneously how they look like. So the one is super fluffy, you can see that. And the other one is much more sturdy and, and uh, has a layer of like uh, this foam, foamy structure. So let's zoom in here a bit. So on the left side, you can see the sponge, super sturdy and, and rough, excess material. And on the right side, the furry swab that is super dense. So it seems like these two swabs here from these two brands should not cause any harm to your nose or to your well-being, it seems like. Leave a comment down below if you think these swabs are too soft or too hard. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe down below and I'll see you in the next video.